Hello friends, welcome back to another episode. The beer this week is called Plum Marshmallow Heart Seltzer by Ellison Brewing of Indianapolis, Indiana. Sweet and light, this hard seltzer may just be what you're looking for. With an interesting flavor profile, this brew won me over to become the beer this week. Has an ABV of 5% and the Comcast gives this beer a 3.75 out of 5 stars. As always, please drink responsibly. Now let's get into the episode. Everybody. Welcome back to another episode of the Comcast. As always, I'm your gracious fucking host, Ryan. And as always, joining me is Cody and Shyanna. I smell <laughs> you, Shyanna. I've got a new body spray dude, on. That dude's an old school creeper in that movie. Mm, it's a musical. Yeah. It Sweeney Todd. It's a musical. We no, watched the, the, the fucking kid was creeper in Sweeney Todd. Yeah, he's a I see well, yeah. you. He was killing and singing. That kid was just trying to steal some girl from her house. Yeah, his daughter. His Sweeney daughter. Todd's daughter. Oh, yeah, Sweeney Todd. Yeah. Mm. yeah, Sweeney Todd, a.k.a. Johnny, Johnny Deep. Johnny Deep. Johnny Riding Deep. in the Johnny Deep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, he was just an old school creeper like, I smell you. Which you could smell fucking everything back in those days. Yeah. From this hardcore Liverpool. Right yeah. Liverpool? Yeah. Like, shut her window. I grew up in Liverpool. Oh, wonderful. I bet it smells nice there. Lots Stick of roses. Out the lots window, of flowers like over in that thing. area. That yeah. neck of the woods. Her snatch is cleaner than the other girls. That's why I like her. Yeah. Well, I mean, hey, this is what it is. Sheesh. But no, but speaking of musicals, we just finally watched Rocket, Rocket Band, Band last yeah. night. Have you watched it? Yeah. You have it's, it's really it's Elton, good. It's Elton John one, right? Yeah. 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 It's actually it's actually really good. It surprised me. I I don't know why we put it off for so long. It came out like a year ago almost, but we just finally got around to it because mm-hmm. it was expiring on Hulu. I didn't I was like, know let's how just... many Elton John songs I fucking knew until they sang them all. Right. And I was just like, well, let's just watch it. And it was actually really good. There was The musical part of it was very light. It wasn't like Sweeney Todd. It's like... like no, Sweeney, it wasn't extremely Sweeney, theatrical. Rocket, Rocket Man was, isn't supposed to be... It's not supposed to be a musical. It's kind of it's kind of got that feel. It, it does. does it, it is mm-hmm. technically a musical-ish. Because it's like... It's like every... It's not the same like outlay. Yeah, probably like every 20 minutes. It's maybe got like five music outbursts that last maybe a couple minutes each. Well, but it kind of, it'll go into like the scene and then it'll kind of transition into the song. Yeah. I guess, I'm assuming that is spite, like is inspired from that part yeah. of his life. I will say very, very hard to understand sometimes. A lot of like self awareness like visualization going on in this movie like mm-hmm. a lot of him looking back at himself and his past and all this it's a lot of it's a lot of fade outs self reflection yeah really. it's a lot of it's a lot of fade outs into his brain there for a time and kind of what like when you like when if you're like if something happens like something dramatic or something cool is about to happen it's in slow motion like it, to your mind it's slow motion they legit made it in slow motion yeah. or like if he's thinking something, they literally like fade back out a lot, and it's it's kind of sometimes it's hard to follow. Like, what the fuck was that? But it was like it's they they did it from like a brain perspective. Well, it was kind of like, cool. It reminds me of uh, Kill Bill. Kill Bill's great. All of them are great, but when they do that, yeah. and it just goes back and forth and back and forth. You could have done it like two minutes short. That's part of it, dude. It's the Tarantino. No, it's, it's a Tarantino movie. They gotta do it like that. Fuck. Nobody stares each other down. Like it's like fucking the good, bad, and the ugly. Where it's just like, duh, duh. and then it just it's yeah. so fucking annoying. Well, Tarantino gets his inspiration for those kind of movies. That's why he does it like that. For who stares them somebody down for three minutes? Because that's what they used to do in the old fucking movies. They stared each other down for three minutes. Yeah. Oh, okay. So they could get, so they could fucking get the next take. So yeah. they could get the scene ready. Just like yeah. just stare at each other until you're ready to fucking just slice her open. Right. No. But no, it was it was really good. I I highly recommend Rocket Man if you haven't seen. I still have not seen Bohemian Rhapsody, which, I mean, it's that's great. that's kind of on me. I haven't. See, seen I, it. I figured it'd be like that because that's not a musical. It's like 
the Motley Crue. No, a hundred percent, a hundred percent. It is the least musical you could ever make something. Rocket Man is, but it, the story itself is a very. I, I'm, I, you know, Elton John for if this story, like you know how they kind of exaggerate things in Hollywood, but if any of that's remotely true, like his story was kind of rough. It's a pretty rough story out of. It's so like some of the most, like he had a decent, like come up, like his childhood. He could have had a good childhood, but his parents were shit. Yeah. Like so he, for his grandparent, yeah, so for his grandma. But it's it's one of those things like it, his life was gr- like he he could have had a great life. It was just you take a good situation and combine shit parents. And basically, his grandma was yeah. the only one who had any belief or hope in him. Right, and especially growing up in the 60s and 70s and you're and you're gay and not knowing if you're gay and then not knowing if being gay is okay so it's one of those big things like one of those things he has like the denial of it too yeah that and just like he came up elton john came up so fucking fast well he was like a multi-millionaire by the time he was 25 yeah so it's one of those things like he came up so fast for back in that day and then he just surrounded himself with just bad people that time. People he, he who he wanted right to love him. Yeah, that's, but didn't. that's that's Freddie Mercury. That's the same thing. Yeah. yeah, same thing. Some might say two sides of the same coin. Yeah, same. Yeah, Freddie Mercury's better. Um, yeah, like if it was like celebrity I'm... boxing, who would win? Freddie Mercury would kick Ellen John's fucking ass. <laughs> probably. <What? laughs> probably. Yes, he would. Probably. No, I still like Ellen John. I mean, I saw. And Free Mercury had a bitchin' ass mustache. He didn't have a bitchin' ass mustache. He didn't. And he could sing like a like nobody. He could El- belt the shit. Elton out. John does TikTok every once in a while. Does he? Yeah, he has like these giant fucking like square he's, frame. He's glasses. always sat. That's his been his vibe though. It's, it just he's yeah, in the movie. Glasses. In the movie, like there's actual pictures of him having in a, suit, end, a but, suitcase full of. Um, Glasses, different kinds of glasses. And they compared it from the scene to like the actual picture. They did okay. So in this really movie, in this movie, probably by far had the best uh, actor to real life character yeah. like persona. Like Look they alike. they almost matched it dead fucking on. Now let's be honest, the actor a little bit better looking in the face wise. Oh yeah. But the glasses, the outfits. All of it, dude, it was fucking like because they showed uh, like black and white pictures at the end of the movie in the in the cutouts, and it was fucking damn near spot on. It was really, it did a really good job matching the actor and the outfits together. You gotta see Bohemian Rhapsody; it's really good. Well, I watched part of it on the cruise, but we've already talked about <laughs> he that. Fucking passed out drunk. Yeah, I watched about ten minutes of it. Jeez. We come, we come. But think about it this way: thing. you're you're in the middle of the Caribbean, <laughs> it, on a boat in the middle of the ocean. You're drunk as shit. And it's hot. And the only place you go is the comedy club slash movie theater. And they're having a movie day of playing Bohemian Rhapsody because it just came out. And it's nice and air-conditioned. It's dark. And they got nice leather seats. And you're drunk as shit. You've been running around and hot all day and eating. And you find a nice, cool spot. like in co- And you cozy up like a fucking, like a fucking grizzly bear. I... Watch Bohemian Rhapsody for 10 minutes. Out. No, because I watched a whole play on the cruise ship same way. That's why I hate. That's why I hate cruises because you can't be alone unless you're in your room. Shit, it really. And is. you weren't even alone then. It was me. We stayed up. We stayed up. <laughs> but that's the thing. Like the I worst don't, company. But that's the thing. Like it was like I don't know. We stayed up at like one or two in the morning and yeah. still like the thing that got me was um, the bathrooms on the cruise ship. Oh, fucking tiny. Well, uh, no, ours were actually a pretty decent size. Just super fucking tiny. So ours were a pretty decent size. Um, mm-hmm. Ours was literally about the size of our bathroom here. Oh, so no. it was pretty good. Um, but also when we went, like when we were in the bathroom, I was like, man, they'd make these bathrooms ready to flood because it was rubber floor, yeah. <laughs> rubber floors with a drain in the middle. Metal floors. Was it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, but it had like rubber, they had like rubber things on the bottom and they had a drain in the middle. Dude, there was like, we brought this up a hundred times, but like day one, we were walking out the next morning after being shit faced. Um, and there was like three toilets. There was like three t- brand new toilets sitting out in the middle of the hall because people broke them. People break them. I'm like, they, I'm they like, were, dude, they were high. They were really, really high. On but the weren't wall. they connected to the floor? No, they were connected to the wall. They were just, well, they see, just sat on the wall. Well, see, I don't, sh- I don't sit down on public toilets anyway. So I hover. I car- call it gargling. So <laughs> I really like. I don't mind not sitting on a toilet. 
Well, they were like... And I didn't. I don't think I shit in that toilet sitting down ever. They were really tall on the wall for some yeah. fucking reason. They were just really tall. They expect people that are six foot eight to take a shit in there in every room. Yeah. I, I don't know. know. But, yeah, people kept breaking toilets and it was funny. Yeah. I mean, literally, like, we seen three toilets just sitting out in the hall. I'm like, everybody breaking a fucking toilet? And it smelled like shit in the hallway. Yeah. Ew. It was fucking gross, dude. It was disgusting. It cruise, was. Ship, cruise ships are the worst. <laughs> I liked it. You liked it. Cruise ships See, are okay. We did a carnival and our ship was so fucking old. It's carnival though. You got if you're gonna do if you're gonna do a cruise and you don't want to go cheap, you don't want to go carnival. Like don't go carnival if you want to do a cruise. Do like one of the expensive ones, like Norwegian or uh, Viking. Even do Royal Caribbean. Or Royal Caribbean. It, they're nicer. We our boat was. The and they're first, not as old. Our boat was the first one in port in Nassau, and the next one was a Royal Caribbean boat, and it was. Four fucking times as big. No, that was Nor- it was a Norwegian. No, it was a Royal Caribbean. Then well, it was a Norwegian. The Norwegian was bigger than uh, that one. Yeah, it was bigger than that the, one. Well, the the, the Norwegian like ones are like six stories taller. But than see, ours. the Norwegian ones are like transatlantic. Like they go aclo- across the fucking yeah, world. Yeah, it's like a European. Group. Yeah, they go across the fucking world. So they literally came from Europe. Yeah, but yeah, the Norwegian one, dude, it would have eaten ours. It could have sank ours and then sank the Royal Caribbean next to ours. Our boat was big, but this thing was fucking massive. And it had like a slide that like fucking overhung. Oh, fucking sweet. And shit. It yeah. Was the Norwegian one was crazy. It was massive. I was like, we're the tiniest boat in this fucking yeah. harbor. All we had was a fucking putt-putt course. Or not even a putt-putt course. A shitty putt-putt course. <laughs> yeah. On top of ours in a fucking gym. Like, you got like a slide and like a little roller coaster up crazy. there. It was oh, crazy. It was crazy. Jesus Christ. Our, our, our boat was so old. Our, I think our boat was like 17 years old. It was mm-hmm. Vegas themed. No, it was from the 70s. No, uh, nah, it, it was, it no, might have, no, shit, it, it was 97, bad. it was 90, yeah, it was, 97, it was commissioned in 97, right? yeah, yeah. It, ha- it was like Vegas themed, like it, everything's red, everything was the gold. shit red carpet, yeah, yeah. Like 90s MGM, everything was like blocky and gold, yeah, and, yeah, it was disgusting, yeah, it was, it was weird, because I was like, oh, this is cool, it looks like a cheap hotel, I loved it. Oh, uh, I at one point we got drunk and we went and sat in the library because nobody was sitting there. Please. No, it was quiet. It was quiet. We were sitting in these nice leather chairs. Nobody. But the was the library in. was like as big as this room. Yeah. <laughs> but the lights were always off because nobody was go- would go in there. Mm-hmm. And we sat in there one time. I was like, "This is nice." Did you have the nightclub in it? Uh, not really a night. It was kind of. It, it was, was like kind a of a comedy. Club. It was oh, a comedy no, we club. Had, well, we, we had, had a comedy a club. The slash actually, nightclub. No, yeah. ours was the. Nightclub was in a, like a whole totally different area. Oh, not ours. So we had we had the piano bar and then the, that was com- my favorite. The nightclub, the nightclub, and the comedy. They just had comedy nights, and then the night there was a nightclub area. Oh no, there was two separate rooms for. You had to walk past the nightclub and through like the casino and stuff, and past the um, Aquaman bar to get to the comedy club. Yeah, but they're basically the set up the board. same. Yeah. I don't know. Shit, I'll never go back on another one. Fuck that. I loved all the free ice cream. I loved all the free <laughs> ice cream. Everything's free the on there. Not everything. Everything's free on there, but I have never shit. Not unless you don't buy the drink package, you well, I get I, am, I have never shit so much. Yeah. We would shit like... It was we like shit. every two hours. hours. We would shit three then, times a day. Then I have to go to a bathroom and wipe because it was like... You had swamp ass and it mm. was just disgusting. Yeah, it was gross. It was... I've never shit. We shit like three or four times a day. Uh, we would also eat a fuck ton too. We'd have like burritos for breakfast. It's free, but also, but also, we, I had also bre- when we I got, had breakfast tacos every day. When we got off the boat, though, we went to Target, and we were in Jacksonville. We went to Target and got like three kombuchas for the next couple days yep. each. Each drank a kombucha in the parking lot on our way to our our uh, friend's house uh, who live in Jacksonville. We were staying with them. Drank a kombucha in the car on the way there, and the next day. Normal shits for the rest of the trip. Like, it was just... Clean all the, out. But all that shit's just full. Even, like, a salad was still... It just, yeah. It wasn't good. Well, you gotta think about it this way. You gotta preserve the shit You're throughout the trip. You're on a boat for a fucking week. Yeah, yeah. you gotta preserve the shit, uh, like, throughout the trip. So the shit's just packed full of preservatives. It's not the best quality. It's, or you gotta freeze it. Yeah. And even the stuff in the restaurant's not even, like, the best quality The either. duck. The duck and the scallops are super fucking good, though. The only thing I will say was the... MSG. Well, was the craft the craft cocktail bar? That was the best part. We would just go there and sit all fucking day. That's all we would do. 
And that, yeah, that's literally all good because it was in the back of the boat. It was right above like the nice fancy dining that you had to pay for. And it was just this craft cocktail bar called, um, what was it called? I don't remember. Um, I it's like the iguana or some shit. No, this one was different. This, uh, yeah, it was like one, a, it was like a martini bar. Yeah, like a martini bar. It was like a ours was on the main level. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's where ours was too. But it was it was like a craft cocktail bar, like fancy mixology cocktail bar. That's that's what, it was like mix. It was it was something it had mixology in it. Apotha, some I don't can't remember. I don't remember. But anyway, that that's all. That's where we would sit because that's the good. That's the good liquor. That's the good ingredients, mm-hmm. like fresh oranges. It's like the same price. Yeah, it's the same price. I mean, you just have, you still have a drink limit. So, I mean, it was great. And then we meet the interesting people there. We wouldn't meet, like, like Larry from Oklahoma. Like, yeah. no offense, Larry from Oklahoma, but I don't want to drink your Bud Light with you. Yeah. <laughs> Give me the that, good alcohol that doesn't that, get me a hangover. That uh, old lady that was creepily touching the, the younger boy oh, at dinner. God. That was weird. It was his grandma. It was yeah, whatever. His grandma. My grandma doesn't rub my back like she's going to fuck me. That dude, that kid has probably been on more cruises than he, than we will ever go on our life. Don't give a fuck. Like, that, that kid's probably been on a cruise since he was six. Like, he's been on a cruise for like he's 10 years. He's also going to die early. I don't care. But also, he was like, he. you could tell he was a pampered little He was better than shit. us because he got the fucking semen sucked out of his body by some 60-year-old woman. He was a pampered little piece of shit. He, he was. Shit, baby. He was a fucking cocksucker. <laughs> <laughs> you, you could tell he was a pampered little piece of he shit. Was, he was a and dude. his buddy sitting next to me was like, it was. you could tell it was his first time on a cruise. And like, they were, Them two were kind of cool. Like his friends, yeah. they were all right, but he was a fucking No, he was a shit. pampered little piece of shit. And that was his grandma or his mom that would always take him well, on I, shit. It was not. Is it sugar mama? <laughs> his grandma's fucking him then. <laughs> what the fuck? She said they're rubbing his scratching his fucking back the whole night. The fuck? She's making sure he can eat his mac and cheese and get it down. <laughs> but they've had four fucking meals. Come on, sweetie. Make sure you chew your food. Yeah. We're trying to have a baby. <laughs> oh, God, ew. <laughs> We're trying to have a baby. It was not his fucking grandma. A cruise yeah. is not the place I have I was trying what? to talk to you, and I was just like, look at this fucking guy. I was I was watching. While I was, while yeah, I was, while I was, fucking while weird. While I was downing my two entrees, I was watching. I was trying to get the fuck out of there. Bro, the crab cakes were fucking amazing. They were good. That was they were amazing. I ordered crab cakes, and then you're like, can I get some crab cakes? <laughs> That's the thing. You can order whatever you wanted to. I didn't know. Yeah, oh, yeah. We th- we didn't go there until the last night. That's we fine. Didn't, we didn't know how it worked. That's fine. We the didn't fancy, know how the it, fancy food. Yeah, and we, just we thought, went there every single fucking day. We thought you had to like dress up and shit. And I'm yeah. just like, I really don't want to dress up. You I just really had just... to wear a polo. You didn't even have to do that. There no. was fucking dudes with Bud Light T-shirts in there. Ooh, did when you guys went? Did they did the sing and dance on the tables thing? No. What? This isn't the fucking. I don't Polar want some. Express. I don't want some motherfucker <laughs> that's been running around all no, goddamn week those, to keep, dance on my table. They keep those tables empty. They're in the center, and then they'll do no. like a costume thing where they dress. Well, ours did. I'm there for one reason. Those one reason only. Not get paid. To I'm there for <laughs> one reason. One reason only to eat. That's it. I, I went I dinner and ate the old lady rub this dude's back. <laughs> no. Yeah, I had a better dude. Than that. He was like 16. Huh? He was not that old. What? He was like 15 no, or 16 years old. That. No, he fucking wasn't. Yes, he he was. Was. No, he was like, not. Yes, he was. Because we were shit. What? 25. Well, then she's robbing the cradle. Oh, people don't age the same anymore. Well, he, we were like 25 at the time, and he, he was maybe 18. Oh, whatever. Maybe. Well, anyway. she was fucking an 18 year old then. Still legal. It's still legal. It was well, just gross. Doesn't make it right. Yeah. I mean, it was her grandkids. So no, it wasn't. it wasn't. You weren't even there. You doesn't don't matter. know. It doesn't, doesn't matter. It doesn't sound. S- S- my grandma the whole would night, never do that. The whole night. Talking to us. Talking to the other the, the, the his two friends. Sitting there scratching yeah, his back. Rubbing his back. Weird. Whatever. The like shitty weird. part was they seat you where there's seats. So like you sit with people you don't we know. The same it wasn't that bad because they had a group of four. It was like four, two, and two. So yeah. They had a group of four. Yeah. Yeah, so, so she were, was actually sitting beside him, but like away, like she wasn't even at the same table. So she was like over yes, here. Yes, she was. Oh, was she? Uh huh. Because it was a group. It was a table of four, and then a table of two, and a table of two. Yeah, so but he weird. definitely knew what he was talking about. He's definitely been on multiple cruises. Yes, he has. He was, yeah. he was a pompous prick. He was getting fucked by an old lady. He's yeah. probably a successful human being right now. <laughs> probably. She probably. probably he's probably on a cruise right now. Actually, probably. probably. Yeah. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I 
fucking hate that kid. We sat there for a <laughs> fucking hate that kid. Sat to him next to him for a fucking hour, and I'll never forget that piece of shit. <laughs> He's a fucking asshole. What we was your just was? What was your favorite thing on the cruise? I, Nothing. <laughs> Not a fucking thing. <laughs> We've talked to... I, I paid for fucking drinks and I didn't get drunk two days on the fucking cruise. Fifth, I'd be like, 15 fucking drinks. You're got to get drunk. If you're pounding them in like two hours, you have to get drunk. Nope. Didn't. <laughs> Exa- prime example that Ryan drinks way too much. It's not true. Prime example. You had 15 drinks in like four or five, six hours, and you should be you should be shit faced. Should be because I it? didn't have that many. I didn't. I maybe had like 12 every day. I was shit faced. Hmm. Prime example. Excuse me. Prime example. You were also drinking like mix. I was just drinking beer. Bro, give me a mark, son. Like, I've, yeah, I drank margaritas. I drank 15 margaritas day one. By the time we were done, like I barely made it to the muster drill. I fell asleep oh, during shit. the muster drill. I fell asleep during my, our must drill wasn't outside like standing up in the hot ass sun. The air for us. It was inside the movie theater, the air conditioned movie theater, the leather seats. And dude, I was just sitting there. And we already shit faced. We've been drinking for like four hours, only margaritas. See, mine was, my first day was fucked though because they Pounding. lost my they lost my bag, and I didn't get it until like six o'clock in the evening. You still got it day one though because we were there drinking. You know, like we well, I'm gonna go to the bathroom. Like we see if my bag's there. I'm I would go right check outside. my bag every hour. Go, I would go walk by the room. And check to see if my bag was there. Because they just leave it in the hall. They don't yeah. put it in the room. So, like, anybody can walk by and take it. I don't know what the fuck they want, but, like, my medicine was in there. Like, all my shit was in there. So, it just pissed me off. And it was a brand new bag. And they fucking cracked it. And so, you had to talk to, you had to talk to, uh, I waited guest in services forever. I had to wait in line for, like, an hour just to talk to them. Be like, oh, well, you know, we don't have it here, so it just must be lost or whatever the fuck. And it was, like, the tag I had on it that had my name on it. The steel must, tag they gave Must you. have got, like, caught on um no they that that's the, they gave me one they gave me a steel tag yeah they give you it. the steel tag so it doesn't fall and off. i guess like their system however they get the bags in there must have got snagged on it or something oh, shit. and like r- broke the the fucking little steel cable that they gave me and uh yeah and it ripped the name off of it so they didn't know like who's oh, somehow they just ruled you out to the very last person probably that was missing a bag i guess i don't fucking know yeah but I had my bag. It was it was next time I was uh, carrying my sh- n- n- excuse me. <laughs> there is no fucking next time. I'm not going back. <laughs> the only thing I've, we've ever talked about if she wants to go on one more, and I was like, I'll go on one more, but I'm gonna make it a good one because I'm never going on for the rest of my life. I think the best part was the 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 big old ladies taking a selfie in the middle of the bridge. Oh gosh, that was funny. <laughs> that was funny. It'd been that funny if they fell to their death. <laughs> <laughs> to their death. <laughs> to their death. <laughs> They wouldn't have went on another cruise now, would they? Uh-uh. No. Sure wouldn't have. It'd have been great. Aw. <laughs> 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 well, we hope you all have had a good week. Uh, we hope you all have had a uh, a safe Halloween. You guys made it out alive. Yeah, I hope it is now November. Uh, everybody knows that after Halloween, it's now Christmas. It's now time to put all your Christmas shit out, <laughs> it's right, now, Char- it's now, That's right. It's now Christmas. <laughs> Uh, the we will leave. pause for four days to observe Thanksgiving. <laughs> <laughs> That's literally it. Yeah, we pause for four days. Yeah, because pilgrims and Native I Americans seen, don't matter. I seen a TikTok and it, and it was a. Uh, <laughs> I seen a TikTok and it was the guy uh, creating wonders. Uh, he does the quotes of the days and shit. I really, I really like his channel. But um, he. He's like, let me, he's got like a Christmas sweater on and a scarf and a hat. And he's like, let me do an illustration for you guys. And he pulled out November and December and he's, he circled one, circled it, uh, circled November and left out the day, uh, the week of Thanksgiving. And then he circled all of December and he goes, Christmas, Christmas, (laughs) Thanksgiving for four days. That's literally it. I think it's um, like Native Heritage Month this month. Yes. Yeah. Yes, it is. Yeah. Woo! November is Native Heritage Month. And also Starbucks, FYI, has their Christmas drinks out. So yes, they do. They just put peppermint in everything. So if you want to get like But here on the Comcast. They come out with like a Christmas cookie something or Oh, yeah. Too. Like a graham cracker But here shit. on the Comcast, we don't support. <laughs> a graham cracker. We don't support piece of shit coffee people. I mean, I got it today. So that's, that's, I know. That's, the coffee sucks. The coffee's just terrible. It's okay. Now you pay your the people. sugar is you, good. you pay your people really well, and you give you them good, good benefits, benefits yeah. and you, you let homeless people use your bathroom, which is cool. And you, respect and you give e- free water. And you respect yeah. equality. Who you give free water, which you fuck, fuck charges for water. You should give free water. 
The charger for the plastic cup. Whatever. Charge me for the plastic cup. They will. Yeah. Your no, lines. You should pay me for taking this plastic cup because you know I'm going to recycle it. Your yeah. lines are super long and your shit's overpriced, but good for you. Your cups are really cute. But your coffee, it's not that good, guys. The sugar is. It is fair trade, I discovered. It is fair trade certified, but Ooh, it's they, not that good. No, you can't bitch about it. It's not. It's just not that good. I mean, yeah, it's good for people and it's good for their workers. I think they just up their wages, sucks. too. Huh? I think they just up their wages yeah. to like $23. Not so bad now, are they? No, they're not bad, but the coffee sucks. I'm assuming you if they were uh, here's the thing, isn't. if they didn't invent all this stupid sugar bullshit, I think they just have one. They'd like, be just some shitty coffee place. I I think all the rest, all their, I think basically all their coffee just isn't isn't it's generic. But the one that they do have that's really good is their blonde. For some reason, their blonde's phenomenal. Their blonde espresso, just their blonde coffee. Ooh. It's espresso. Is it espresso? Yeah, their blonde's really good. I heard the like the less you roast the beans, the more caffeine it has. Yeah, yeah. if you use if you drink green coffee, it has like almost double. Yeah, the caffeine. Yeah, I just like you're you're good to your people. That's fine, but your coffee just doesn't. It's just not good. Like I can get I can get better coffee delivered to my door, which I do every month. I'm not trying to do. <laughs> which I do every I'm month. Posh. Oh. Me. But oh, to be fair, <laughs> to be oh. fair, but. Your coffee's just not that good. Like, if you give me some Folgers crystals and you give me a cup of fucking uh, Seattle born, uh, wait, yeah, Seattle born fucking Original Starbucks. Or is it, no, is it? No, it's not. What? Where were they? Where were they? Seattle. Seattle. Or is it Portland? Seattle. Seattle. Okay. If you give me some Starbucks and give me a cup of Folgers crystals, I mean, they're probably gonna taste What's the Folgers same. Folgers crystals. You like the instant coffee? You can also uh, get Folgers. It's shitty. <laughs> No, it's, it's not that bad. You can also get Folgers. I grew up on that. No, I didn't. It I like got organic it. Kroger at my house. What? I got organic Kroger brand at my house. It's called, uh, what's your mom call it? What? What's your mom call Kroger? Kroger. 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 Yeah. Went to the Kroger. <laughs> but anyway, what what about Folgers crystals? Huh? They all, not the crystals, but they also make them, because in college, like I did the crystals for a while, but they got a weird aftertaste to them. Because it's instant, right? Uh, Yeah, I guess. I don't know. But you can get it like kind of like a tea bag, but it's coffee. That was fucking great. Hmm. Wow. It's, it's like the Nest Tea instant tea. That shit sucks. That's disgusting. <laughs> we grew up on that. It's fucking gross. It's bad. That's all our... Excuse me. Do you want bits in your fucking drink? That's it's all our... Bad. That's what's in there. That's all our great grandma would drink. I don't drink. think they Is make that, it anymore. Yeah, no. I don't think so either. But she's like, the you guys want some... The she guys, you, She's like, you guys want some tea? And she's like, we're like, yeah, sure. And we're thinking we're like, you're going to get tea? No. She like pours water in a glass with ice and stirs that shit around. And it's like it instant rotten. tea. It's gross. It rotten. Well, it's like instant coffee. You're drinking something that dissolves in water. That's the thing. Like, that's what astronauts drink, though. Like, it's that kind of shit. Have you seen that shit, though? How they get water? It's cool. Like, like everything comes in, like, a squeezable, like, apple yeah, sauce, apple sauce pouch. <laughs> and then they just... They put it in the wall in a little hole, little dicky hole in the wall. <laughs> and they hit a button. And it just whoop, fills up that little Capri Sun pouch. And then they pull it off, and then they can suck oh, it yeah. out. Drinking <laughs> off. A little dicky on the wall. <laughs> it is, though. It's a, well, look at it. It is. It's just like, it's a stainless steel wall with a bunch of buttons and shit. And there's one little fucking hole. And they put their little spout in there, and then they, they hit a button, and it fills it with water. <laughs> oh, it's a Capri Sun pouch. Yeah, a little yeah. dicky hole. A little dicky wow. hole in the wall. Uh, Go to videos or something. Oh, look at the bloop bloop. Yeah, they like, they like eat Sucking it. Sucking balls. Eat it in the fucking air. It's like floating jello. There's a video of him doing it. Uh, I can't this think guy. of his name. Yeah. I can't think of his name. But he's Canadian like, he's a, space agent. <laughs> he's a famous astronaut. Buzz Aldrin. Look how famous. Go to videos. I mean, these are videos. Oh. Boom. Go down. Right there. The man with the moose on. This one? Uh, what's it say? How to ask How to get to drinking water. water. Yeah. How oh, cool. Mm, Add. Fucking ads. Here you go. Hey, y'all. Oh. I think that's to re and recycle. Oh, they recycle their urine. Ew. Got a lot of commercials. Is that a commercial? Oh, no. It's just like, like a beginning thing. 
What the fuck happened? Washing ourselves to making our coffee, or even when we sweat, the water that gets expelled is collected into a purification system. And we reclaim about 93% of all the water up here. Wow. Infinite soapy water here in space. Mix it up. Uh, that's on the outside, apparently. Water used to be delivered in water-filled bags like this one. We brought them up on uh, on space shuttles and, of course, all of the visiting resupply vehicles. Wow! But since 2010, yeah. there's a system on board yeah. that can purify the water real time. You don't have to take it out and store it in bags. Drinking we have filters water. and a keg-sized distiller that spins to create artificial gravity and move the wastewater along. And with it, we can recycle about 6,000 liters of extra water for the station each year. That's super cool. See, why don't they do that, like, like, on, on Earth? Earth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no shit. Little well, dicky hole in the wall. Yeah, it does See? fill it up. It fills it up. It's like a it's like a, 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 a double-sized Capri Sun packet. Yep. Mm-hmm. That's literally what it is. And then That's kind of cool. The, and then they have Put like, in a little <laughs> dicky hole. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> then they have the pouch with their coffee, and it has, like, it has coffee in it. You just put water in it and hmm. shake it up. I don't think it's hot. I, oh, yeah, like, they can do hot and cold. They switch it. Uh, that's like the, the MRE is the same thing. It's like it's like this is two thousand calories, or Aren't those are really great. Or it's like a thousand calories, and it's like a giant fucking brick. Well, it's just made to survive, is all. Yeah, but then it's like well, we got spaghetti and meat sauce, which nothing sounds grosser than saying spaghetti and meat sauce. But it's like spaghetti and meat sauce, and I've seen videos of like the soldiers eating them, and they're like, "Here's your heating pouch." And you literally, like, yeah. hot pocket pouch, shove that thing in, you fucking shake the shit out of it, and then it makes it instantly fucking, like, steamy-ass hot, mm-hmm. which yeah. is crazy. It's just chemical reactions. Like, yeah. water to something. Some, like, like, the little, like, the fucking thingies that keep moisture out of, like, bacon bits and shit. Yeah. It looks like that. Yeah. But, oh. Uh, it was, yeah. The, is it the, oh, uh, wait, like, the pouch thing? Okay. I, I mean, those, that's what it looks like, but it's like a... It's a warmer thing? It's just mm. a t- like it's like a tablet in there or something that reacts to water and makes heat. I don't know what it is. Yeah. Hmm. But uh, and then but I seen this uh, this one video of this this TikTok guy and he was eating an MRE. He's like, oh MRE, and he opens it up and I forget what it was called. It was like beef stroganoff or yeah. something like that. And he he like took a big bite out of it and he started chewing it and he goes, uh oh, and he looks at the package. He goes. I think I just fucked up. <laughs> and he pans out and then he comes back and his face is fucking swollen shut. Uh, and he goes, hey guys, I was reading, I, I was stupid. I didn't read the ingredients. And he had a fucking and he was, allergy. <laughs> no, he was allergic to, um, it was like an artificial uh, ingredient in there that he's highly allergic to. And he fucking, he's like, mm. I, he's like, I took a, bu- he t- he's like, I took like eight Benadryl, so I'm good. I don't have to go to the hospital. But he, he's like, I almost fucked up, <laughs> like really bad. But he, yeah. he just took a bite of it. He goes, I think I just fucked up, <laughs> like instantly. See, that's how I am with paprika. As soon as I put it in my mouth, paprika. It like the crack. You know how when you eat something spicy, like the crack of your mouth and stuff starts tingling. Yeah. Well, it's like that for a minute. It, like when I eat it and I can feel it, I'm like, oh shit. And then my the like roof of my mouth starts burning. Yeah. You know, like it just, you just say you don't swell up though. It's no, just, it just doesn't feel good. It feels like you ate fucking needles. It's the same thing with green pepper too. No, I break out in hives everywhere and get really itchy. Gotcha. And I get a fever. I get a fever. I yeah. get a fever. My nipples itchy as fuck. <laughs> I'm glad I'm not yep. allergic to anything. Yeah. I would start. Be allergic to peanuts or something like Amoxicillin that. Amoxicillin makes me throw up profusely. <laughs> I'm allergic to toxic people. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good. That's a good allergy. I'm allergic to to- toxicity. I'm also allergic to like people's bullshit. Bullshittery. I'm allergic to pretending that you know something that you don't. Those people just aren't. I'm allergic very good to that. People. Like if I'm talking to you about something and you go, "Oh yeah, the one uppers, the one uppers of oh, the world." Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I knew that. Did you? Oh, did you? Did you know that? You lying piece of shit. Yeah. Don't pretend like you know something. That's when you just make up a crazy just, story and then they try to one up it. I guess I'm allergic to fake people. Be like, I hundred percent. Be like, I fucked a horse once. And be like, oh yeah, mm. this one time I had sex with this one horse. An ostrich. An ostrich. <laughs> a horse and, at the and an ostrich. Birds don't have dicks. Did you know? A that? Horse ridge. Birds don't have. Birds dicks. don't have dicks. Birds don't have dicks. Pretty <laughs> 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 uh-huh. sure. Ducks have dicks. Right. It's like twice the no, size no. of their body. Like bird birds. Ducks are rapists. Ducks are rapists. No. Yeah. Ducks are evil! Serves them right. I don't think regular birds have dicks. Birds have dicks. 
Most male birds, including chicken and quail, have, have no, no penises. Pe- but ducks and geese have coiled penises that can measure up to nine inches. Holy shit! It's a fucking hoss right there. Only ducks and geese. The rest of birds don't have penises. Why don't These you? retract when not in How does that work then? I don't know. <laughs> I have no clue, but I knew they didn't have penises. Does it just fall out of a hole in their body? Look at this. Look at bird. Lifespan. One to 100 years. Fucking damn. Peacocks live like 70, 80 years. The largest bird breed, ostrich. Are we sure? A bee hummingbird is the smallest breed. Yeah, the fucking ostrich is like eight feet tall. Bee hummingbirds are like the size of your thumbnail, are they not? For sure. I mean, I'm going to guess it's the size of a bee. What's that say? Warm, 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 yeah, yeah, warm something. Warm. Most birds do not have a penis. Most birds have a little lump called a cloaca during the breeding season when Isn't that the hormones- thing in the back of your throat? Ugh. That's a uvula. Oh, shit. <laughs> when hormones are flowing, the throat. cloaca <laughs> swells, and birds can get a cloaca protru- wait. protrusion. Protuberance? It's a clit. <laughs> they have a clit. Which is a small clit. literally it. Birds, all birds just have a clit. How do they, how do they This is on the website. 10,000 birds, birding, nature, conservation, and the wide, wide world. Do birds have penises? Question mark. <laughs> Look at the size of that cloaca! That's pretty big. Where? Pretty big cloaca. That's not The it. whole red thing. The it's, whole red protruding no, thing. No, it's this little thing. Oh, that's that, a little tiny clip. That little, that little, that little bing bong right there. <laughs> that little bing bong. That little belly button down there. <laughs> it's an Audi! <laughs> Above, a bird bander blows on the tufted titmouse belly. <laughs> oh, this pop the the tufted titmouse is a bird! The bear patch, that's a cloaca. I think men were the only ones allowed to name birds. Oh, fuck this murder bird. A fucking cassowary. Look no, thank you. Huh? They have the big feet on that one. That's how they That's how they murder people. Yeah, they look they're like, like giant chicken they're feet. They're like five to six inch daggers on their feet. Remember we seen that one at the Nashville Zoo? Those things will fuck you up. Uh... The buffalo weaver. Both sexes have a penis and a clitoris of cassowaries. Hmm. But the freakiness doesn't end there. Both male and female birds have a phallus, but it's not connected to reproductive tissue in either bird. Hmm. What's a phallus? A dick. A dick? A dick. When the male cassowary inserts what looks like a penis into the female, the semen ejaculates from the cloaca Hmm. from the base, but (laughs) not the tip. So the... the dick is for fucking, but not for shooting. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like putting a strap on on, but you still gotta get like the turkey baster in there to fucking yeah, squirt her in. Yeah. Yum. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, let's see. Both sexes have the cloacas, so for most birds, sex literally is about bumping uglies. They uh, <laughs> they do not they do not have lengthy love making periods. But fast as one to three second copulations that can happen hundreds of times a day. See, wow. what are you complaining about, ladies? We're saying one to three minutes. One to three seconds? Come on now. Um, we can be birds. Some people only last one to three seconds. Huh? Some people only last one to three seconds. Those people are birds. Well, the red. So this one says, bird, the red-billed buffalo weaver has a pseudo penis, not quite a cloaca, not quite a penis. When uh, he will he mean? will rub this against the female's genitalia for ten to twenty seconds, and this is supposed to increase the chances that uh, that his sperm will stay. So he just rubs it. And be like, it's like it's like when salmon it's like when salmon lay their eggs, and you gotta like they like shoot their sperm all over the eggs and hope it sticks. That's let me literally get my, what this is. Let me get my sticky on you. <laughs> it's like throwing darts at a board. I hope I get one. I hope I get one. Well, it's like finding Nemo. Do you remember when they when? Oh, maybe that's. Never mind. What kind of find you need Nemo? Like movie? that episode of Futurama, it's just, it fries the salmon and he lays it on Leela's eggs and he's just like, Ugh, I love you. And they float up to the <laughs> fucking surface. Eyes. That's how they do it. No. That's, that's how they do it. They like, they're just like, oh, I'm just going to, you know, you know, you just got to shoot your shot. Bruce, Hope literally. It sticks. Hope it sticks literally. Yeah. Damn. Well, now you know. Cruises and bird dicks. That, the absence of bird dicks. The absence of bird dicks. Some do have dicks. But Two. They're, but they're useless. Geese and <clears throat> ducks. Have, ducks. Uh, ducks have fucking hogs on them, man. So Nine cool. inches? That's taller than the duck. Taller than the duck. Yeah. So their I penis can be nine inches. That. Aren't ducks like a foot tall? Mm. Mm. No, I, I guess. I don't know. 
It's not like I just have ducks running around. I don't know. I don't remember the last time I saw a duck. <laughs> yes, I do. We were a on duck. a walk. How tall is a duck? 13 inches. Hmm. <clears throat> smallest spe- the smallest species stands 13 inches. Okay, so ducks are pretty... And pretty the largest big. species is 6 feet? What? What? A, a a duck. Duck. What fucking duck. duck is that? A domestic duck. That's not 6 feet, though. What duck is six Are feet? That's taller than me. How, how, it it varies point. according to species and gender. On the average, their height is about five five inches or four inches. A domestic duck length stands up to sixty centimeters in height and weighs up to forty nine pounds. A domestic duck. The smallest species stands thirteen inches, thirty three centimeters. So, so like the tallest a, ducks only like, like Ferdinand. The tallest what? ducks it, it six feet. Um, the, it's, it says right here the tallest duck only stands 60 centimeters, which is about two feet. Are they talking about wingspan, though? No. It says height. It says one can weigh up to 49 pounds. Um, let's see. That says length, though. Six the feet largest feet, weighs up to 49 pounds. But yeah, they're only about two feet tall, the like, largest species. Not, is Ferdinand? Yeah, Ferdinand from Babe. He was a big duck. That's domestic duck. He's two feet tall. Yeah, right here. Like the Affleck duck. So that cute. One. Yeah. I want to see the world's law. Lo- oh, that is a big fucking duck. I feel like he's just like standing like a bear, though. Yeah, let's go with duck breeds. Look at the cute little one with the fluffy tops. The cute little bird. That's None of those duck. are huge, though. It looks like a shitty duck. None of those are <clears throat> massive. I want to see a big ass duck. Well, then type it in. That's pretty fucking big. Yeah. I feel like that's a goose. That's a goose. Yeah. Eat out. Goose. Um, Base duck breed. Yeah, that's what we're going to have to do. biggest duck. Because I want to see a duck that weighs 50 fucking pounds. Well, you're on images. Oh. So, largest duck breed uh, of the heavier is the English Alisbury Alisbury and the Ruin Alisbury Alisbury and the Ruin Drakes. Can weigh up to 12 pounds and and ducks 9 to 11 pounds in general. The heavies are the old established breeds which were developed for the table. Hmm. The Cayuga was the table bird of the USA before the Chinese Pekin duck was imported in 1874. Hmm. That's a pretty duck though. That's weird. So what duck is that fucking thing? Ugly. I think it's the Chinese duck. No, that's an American duck. Look at the fucking hair. Look at all the warts. Mohawk. Yeah. You're See, that Chinese looks like a goose species? to me, but I, I'm guessing that's a duck. Yeah. Yeah, that's a duck. That's a big duck. That's a big old duck. That's a prehistoric duck. Look there's, that a, there's a dodo. That's Biggest biggest. duck breeds. Huh, that's crazy. It's one big duck. It's not 49 pounds. You fucking lied to me, 10,000 birds, or was that a different one? Um, no, I that was, just on, that was yeah. just on Google or whatever the fuck. This internet search shit you're on. Yeah, so here's the Aylesbury duck. Aylesbury duck, whatever. I don't know, that's a lot of different ducks. Yeah. Oh, you see that brown one? What's that one? Blue Swedish? Or Rowan. That's a Rowan Claire. Well, that wouldn't be a wild duck. There's a Saxony duck. duck. I had hmm. one that looked like the brown duck one time. I found it outside. Here's the silver apple yard ducks. Huh. So are the girl ones just called ducks, <clears throat> and they're called ducks overall. And I, think, I have no I idea. think the males are drakes. Yeah, but I meant the girl ducks. They're just ducks. It only says they weigh like See, twelve that, pounds. You see that girl duck right there? This one. I found a duck like that. Well, it was a duckling once. This is a rowan duck. Are you sure? That's what it says. Wow. Rowan ducks. Are they wild? Can they be wild? I found a duck just like that. Probably. Or she grew up to look just like that. It looks like they have different breeds of rowan ducks. They have blue and row, blue rowan, mm. and green rowan. So all I know is none of these equal forty nine pounds. No. no, but they're the only one of the only ones with a penis. Maybe they they probably shit forty nine times. No, day, dude, what's but... crazy is those giant uh, rabbits. What are those called? Which ones? The oh, giant the one ones. California Un- giants. No, or... the other ones. The one that Kim Jong Un. Oh, Normandy Google giants. It. I don't know. What's it called? A Welsh giant. Welsh giant. That's there are a lot of giant rabbits. The ones that Kim Jong Un ate. There are also some that have like a check. They're like a chest something or other, but they're black and white checkered. 
Flemish, a Flemish giant. That's what it is. They're beautiful. I love them. Fucking buns. huge. They're cute though. Fucking huge. I saw on TikTok. There was this that one thing dude. would fuck you up. There's this one dude who brought his rabbit into PetSmart. And it was funny. Or was it a girl? Yeah, it was a chick who brought her rabbit into PetSmart. She got a, like a little basket for him. Look, it's the Indiana giant rabbit. This is like a crackhead. Crackhead rabbit. Yeah, these things are fucking huge. If we had a rabbit, I would want a Flemish giant rabbit. No, you wanted a lot. Yeah, but I want one of these too. Yeah. I want to train that thing to fuck somebody up. You can train them to use a litter box. Bro, if you can literally, if you got kicked by one of these fucking things, dude, you're down. This you have to like be. cats, dude. They jump right on your face, dude, and like rip your face apart. You ever been bit by a fucking rabbit? No. Hurts. Does it? Hurts like a... <laughs> Tell me about it, buddy. Oh, that's all I got. That's all Bring I got. Bring little babies! And you typed in rabbit, like half the shit's recipes. And then there's a squirrel. <laughs> And a corgi for some reason. Uh, they were trained to hunt, weren't they not? Who? Corgis. What? Those fat, chubby little fluff things? I'm pretty no. sure. Nah. Pretty sure. Bet you a dollar. They're hunting for cheeseburgers. That's all they're Whatever. fucking doing. Whatever. The fucking... Corgis, only dog with an ass. The dog's with the cutest And puns. their butts float. Yeah. Seriously, only, corgis, only dog with an ass. I googled it. Do dogs have asses? And the first thing that popped up, Corgi. Yeah, because they have... And then remember that dog we seen? He had a broken leg and they shaved him and he had a crack. He had an ass crack. Yeah. It was hilarious. What? It was hilarious. It was a fat dog. Um, I saw it was so a dog. Many... It, was, it, wasn't a, it wasn't a Corgi, but he got a broken <laughs> leg and they had to do surgery. So they had to shave that whole like leg and ass cheek and he had a butt crack. It was fucking hilarious. <laughs> they, uh, somebody posted the other day and it was like, in case you didn't know, bats have butt cheeks. And like I was, saw that. Bat, and it was like there it is. Its legs were squished together, and it had butt cheeks. <laughs> like it was a little ass crack. <laughs> Do the bat butt cheeks? Bats have butt cheeks. Yeah. Bats have butt cheeks. It's really funny. It's like in case you didn't know, bats have butt cheeks. You're welcome, or something like that. <laughs> That's a mouse. That's a bat. What the Are fuck? Sure? We got into porn. How did I get into porn? To be porn. There's a dragon with a fucking nuts and a butthole. All I did was bat butt cheeks. Jesus really? Christ. Would you please, for the love of God, search something else? Well, There's... Stop, lo- stop looking. Ah! There's <laughs> pussies on the screen. And a penis. What the fuck are you doing? Bat butt. There. Do that one. Carly! <laughs> I'm not what the fuck? I didn't. I'm not trying to. You what want... is your search history? It's There's perfect. animated... Vaginas on the screen. It's this podcast. What are you into, dude? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. Yeah. But whatever. Cheek? Do bats have butt cheeks? Just okay, there we go. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Why are you talking about it with bat butt cheeks? And it was like a shit ton of porn. A <laughs> what lot. The, what the that was fuck? a lot of porn. That was a lot. Remember, remember, I turned the I turned the parental filters off. Because the parental filters were on, because we were it wouldn't to... let you click on anything. Though. Yeah, it wouldn't let me click on anything. But now they're not on. Still, if I search bat butt cheeks, it's not a bunch of porn no. don't pop up. No, nope. fuck, mine neither. Like you, you're just I don't look like... up anything. It's just this podcast. Lies. I, I do not liar, sit in here. And look... Liar, When am I ever sitting liar. in here? When am I ever? A lot. Sit... You sit in here a lot. I'm preparing the podcast, if Martha. You, uh-huh. If you want to look at porn, that's absolutely. But there was fine, like but... there was there was a fucking girl in Batman underwear. What was, was that a, dragon? With a thing? giant dick. I don't know. It was a dragon with fucking nuts and an asshole. Jesus. Yeah, that's fucked up. Just click on images for the love of God. I'm not connected to any internet. <laughs> what the fuck? You're not allowed on anymore. It kicked you off. No, it didn't. Jesus yes, it did. Christ. <laughs> so much porn. <laughs> so much, so porn. much porn. Such little time. And then he just typed in bat, you typed in bat butt cheeks, and then bat butt cheek, and then it was just still so much porn. Both times, porn. Oh, that's fucking crazy. Jesus Christ. <laughs> My router kicked me off the internet. <laughs> No, no, that's not. fucking crazy. Let's take it. Let's take a bathroom break. All right. Hey, milkers! The holidays are coming up, and we have everything you need at thecomcast.com. It's getting chilly outside, and we have hoodies, long sleeve tees, and the newly released Pod Humbug Christmas sweater available now. Go to thecomcast.com and get all your merch. We have so much more to offer. Now let's get back into the episode. All right, everybody. It is news 
story time. Now that I have my internet connection back. <laughs> Post porn break, everybody. Yeah. Yeah, no shit. <clears throat> so so I the do first... that at home alone. I don't want to watch it with you guys. So the first article I have for you guys this week, uh, this is on Lad Bible. So a man spends 24 hours searching for his long lost brother. 24 and, years? 24 years. 24 hours. <laughs> say 24 hours. I looked for my brother yeah. for a Sorry. day and I couldn't find him so I gave up. 24 <laughs> years searching for his long lost brother and is now in seriously, is seriously ill in the hospital after his sibling stabbed him in bed after breaking into his home. Oh, fuck. So Martin Labenser, 35, says he woke up to discover his brother, Evo, Evo, swinging his knife at him repeatedly. So his brother, like, finds him after 24 years. And he didn't realize his brother was a fucking psychopath named oh. Evo. Yeah. He sounds like a fucking shitty robot. Yeah. So uh, his lawyer, Nicholas Nettis, said after 24 years, Martin didn't recognize his attacker and cried out, who are you? What do you want? Evo replied, I'm your brother. Don't you recognize me? What the fuck? Kind of weird fucking like dramatic movie plot line is this? The, oh. the confrontation took place in Selva di Val Gardena in the Italian Alps and was the first time the brothers have met since Evo, now 42, left home at 18 following the death of their father. So they knew each other uh, for 18 years. Uh, but I guess, I mean, if he would have died, it would have been a, like, I, I bet the the Italian Alps was a pretty nice view. So, mm -hmm. so Nettis added, one theory is that Evo, Evo was angry about the terms of their inheritance. You waited 24 years, buddy. Like, you should have acted sooner. Uh, which included the house Martin still lives in and has been um, nurturing a grudge after ever since. Uh, so, but most people handle this through lawyers. They don't vanish for two decades, then show up with a hunting knife. So when Evo went missing in 1997, the family took to Italian TV and issued appeals for him to return, but there was no sign. However, police have discovered the elder brother was sleeping rough in Verona and took on part-time work, although with spending time in a local library where he built up an extensive knowledge of literature. So this dude's been, like, preparing to kill his brother to get back his shitty Italian Alps cabin yeah. for years. He's like, I know where I'm going to go. The library, because that's where you find out shit to murder your brother. That's literally it. You build up a good vocabulary. Right. So it is now believed that he arrived back um, back to his hometown area on a bike and decided to live in the local woods where he was said to have been watching his brother who is now a ski resort employee who lives with his wife and nine-year-old son. I always feel like somebody's watching me. That's literally, that's literally what the fuck this is. Um... So Netta said he waited for night and broke in through the garage wearing camouflage and carrying at least two knives. This dude's literally been preparing to murder his brother for years. He's shitty Italian Rambo. That's what Jesus. he is. The only thing missing is that they were royalty. That's literally it. If you put take this and put it in a castle, it's the same fucking thing. Seriously. He went to he went to the bedroom and started stabbing his brother in the chest. Oh shit! He didn't speak or make threats. The publication also reports that Martin's wife tried to. Can you intervene. imagine though? They're like if he did make noise, it would be like boobity, beebity boobity boo. <laughs> or like, or maybe he was like a pussy and he was just like, uh, uh, stab you, brother. Uh. <laughs> I like the beebity. I've been reading books in the library. <laughs> Pepperoni. <laughs> Can't it's like Rob. It's like Rocky preparing for to fight fucking Dolph Lundgren, but it's just like reading books about like the best way to hold a knife to stab something. <laughs> so um, I read about this. <laughs> so uh, the publication also reports that Martin's wife tried to intervene, only to be met with pepper spray. Another knife. <laughs> No, so he pepper sprayed his wife in the face and then started stabbing him again. So he didn't only have two knives, he also had pepper spray. Yeah, I forgot he goes, Bear mace! <laughs> oh, so he didn't want to kill everybody, just him. No, he actually didn't have enough money for pepper spray, so he actually just threw coarse ground pepper in her face. Hey y'all! Pepper! <laughs> Pocket sand! First crack pep! <laughs> it, was actually, it was actually pickle juice. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> 
<laughs> Homemade piss pickle juice. Yeah. So according to La Stampa, uh, Evo told police, I felt a huge rage inside towards my brother, but I didn't want to kill him. Well, um, I stayed dude. alone with him a while. He was in agony and on the bed, and I could have finished him, but instead I went into the kitchen, which is where the police found me. Uh, so Netta said Martin was stabbed in the lung, but was now off the danger list. He said, Evo may be playing it down, but stabbing someone in the chest repeatedly is attempted murder. The mystery is why he did it. He did it to get the house. I mean, that's 100% it. He was preparing for a mission. Mission almost succeeded. But what you forget is, I mean, everybody knows who the fuck you are. So you would have to kill everybody in that family. I mean, family. you're Italian too. Get a gun. <laughs> <laughs> do, it, do it the right way. So the like, Italian way. So but this isn't how I planned it. Right. Damn it, I should have used actual pepper spray and not coarse ground pepper. Instead of bringing two <laughs> fucking butter knives and stabbing your brother <laughs> while he's asleep. Hey, they were hunting knives. <laughs> oh, were they hunting knives? He he rode there on a bike. <laughs> yeah. He was prepared for the end. Yeah, he, he was prepared for anything. And then he fucking camped in the woods like... He was going to get that moderately sized... 1,400 square foot, two bedroom, one bath cabin in the fucking Italian Alps, by God. And then he camped in the woods like fucking Ted Kaczynski waiting to make his <laughs> move. <laughs> <laughs> fucking jerking off in tree holes and yeah, shit. Yeah, oh, fucking gosh. hobo ass Ted Kaczynski out there just fucking spooning fucking uh, fucking jello packs into his mouth thinking God's talking to him in the his fucking, fucking cabin. The Italian Unabomber with two knives. <laughs> what a fucking badass. <laughs> Oh, okay. So that that was that was an interesting one. So uh, this incredible footage, I thought this was kind of cool. So uh, this footage shows a great white shark that might just be the world's most battered shark. So if you just watch battered the video, and fried, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> so sharks are fucking scary as shit. I mean, we all know that. But this one looks like it's literally been through hell and back. Like, this thing has... been shot. Look at that big old hole. This thing has definitely... Oh, I don't know how this thing's alive, but this is probably the most boss-ass shark on the face of the earth. Evo got a hold of it. He's a boss. Evo cut his ass up. <laughs> Little does he know, pepper spray don't work underwater, bitch. <laughs> but knives do. <laughs> That's who called the cops the shark did. The shark did. The shark. shark said he was abusive. <laughs> Look at this fucking shark, dude. This thing has been in... Jeez. This thing... This is like Rocky in the 18th round. Missing like a chunk of his neck and his... Oh my gosh. Hmm. That's <laughs> crazy. Probably got in the fight with like an orca or uh, something. Something crazy. Or a pack they probably tried eating him and he got away. Pod. No so sense. this... The shark was spotted near the Neptune Islands in South Australia, which is an area known to be populated by around 1,000 great white sharks. And that's why I'm never going to swim in the ocean outside of Australia. Um... By the looks of things, this uh, this large male has been scraped by has scraped by um, scrapping whatever scrapping with each and every one of them. Um, whilst those who filmed the footage uh, thought the giant predator may have been injured by boat propellers or tuna nah. nets, they've since done away with that idea. I mean, no, this motherfucker literally. There's tore, a lot more than a boat propeller. There is a million bodies of his murdered enemies at the bottom of the ocean <laughs> because he fucking killed them. Yeah. Maybe he just got in a fight with a really big cheese raider. Like, that was it. Like, he just got hung up. You know What's what I mean? What's that movie with Will Smith? The Shark Tales? <sighs> That's not the same. No, Shark but like, That is not the same. What? Will, Will Smith as a fish? That is not the same as this. No, Will but Smith. you remember the shark boss? Yeah. He's what the about? shark boss. He died. Okay, well, he's not dead yet, but... He's he died in a... His head got stuck in a submarine, and he screamed. Hey, <laughs> they were Italian sharks. They were Italian. Yeah. No. The shark ball. Hey, Ricky, come on! <laughs> so, under, underwater cinematographer Dean uh, Spakeman... Uh, Spakeman? Spakeman! Spakeman! Said, said the shark was friendly and calm, but not until you step in his spaghetti sauce. Uh, so no one has ever seen a shark in a condition like this before we see sometimes down there the white sharks uh tracking stingrays because they hunt and eat them and we thought they chase them into the shallow reefs areas where it's quite sharp and it might get stuck 
and cause this sort of damage. You can only suspect what happened there. And to be honest, no one knows or ever really, uh, ever really know, knows what causes that sort of damage to a shark. But the poor guy had a bit of a hard time, I think. Had a bit of a hard time. He fucking kicked all the shark's ass. There is a pile <laughs> of dead shark enemies at the bottom of the fucking Marianas Trench or whichever, the Great Barrier Reef. They're swimming with the fishes. He, he was in Arm, he was in Shark Mageddon <laughs> in the Great Barrier Reef in Australia and he came out victorious. Or it was just a botched suicide and he was a pussy. Yeah, he and sucks. fucking lived. That might be it too. <laughs> Either way, on to the last article. <laughs> I just thought it was a cool, interesting thing to see. That's pretty cool. Very interesting. So, this one's a fun one. Could have just asked the shark what happened to it. So, a woman claims... Too easy. <laughs> too, too easy. Will Smith, get down there and talk to him like you did in that one movie. <laughs> Anybody else know that he was like a beta fish? The girlfriend was. No, he was. No. no. What the fuck was he, a flounder? No. No. He was, it's, a, it's salt water. Or the ocean. I don't know. Maybe he was a blue tang. Who gives a fuck? <laughs> who gives a Who gives a fuck? It's like Osmosis Jones. Who I love a, it. Who gives a fuck? <laughs> what? Os- he was a white blood cell. Osmosis Jones? Yeah. yeah. He was blue. I, I mean... Plasma. Yeah. Plasma. <laughs> Whatever. So, a woman who claims she is Which in love... on Netflix. Watch it. Yeah. We've watched it already. Oh, okay. Good. So a woman who claims she is in love with the ghost of a Victorian soldier says that he's now giving her the silent treatment after she went to the media Good, about her romance. Good, fuck, bitch. <laughs> Don't no fucking soldier what's the fucking... Bro, you went public. You went public. Don't nobody want no news. It Don't no he, ghost. He just wants to rest. Yeah, he's dead. He just wants to chill out, smoke his Civil War fucking pipe, and sharpen his bayonet and prepare for the <laughs> next war. Ghost war. Well, seriously, like, you went public. You can't talk about it. And then he's going to be like, no, sorry, bitch. Um, bye. 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 <laughs> so, uh... He's fighting Native Americans in hell. He doesn't have time God. for you. So, the 38-year-old singer named Brocardi... Bro How old is she? 38. A 38-year-old singer who lives in Oxfordshire. I feel like I could be like, I'm a singer. <laughs> and just be like, that's your, you're a self-claimed singer. What the fuck? Why are you typing bone broth? I typed in broth. Type She's a visual arts performer, singer, songwriter. So that's right. Her, here's her website. Brocardi.com. She just has a bunch of baby dolls. It's because they're creepy. That's creepy. Who is Brocardi? Um what? That's the ghost hand. Um get out of bed. It's like, hey, put this thing on your put this thing on your ghost hand. Brocardi is a mu- uh, is music. Brocardi is fashion. Brocardi is a curious and vastly charismatic alliance of the two art forms, a woman of extremes and mystery who cannot be easily categorized. But if you imagine the operic voice and the gothic hair of Kate Bush and the drama uh, of metal, you get somewhere near. She lives in the country. Arrives in Soho, London. Like she could take down the city wearing the satorial version of her own song with lyrics embroidered on the bodice. A black velvet dress in a heat wave. The velvet is exquisitely soft and silky. Velvet poetry. Her makeup is perfect. Bow lips, big eyes, unworldly, lustrous lashes. Her long and raven hair shines. She is both seductive and doll-like. With a fat cock. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot of dolls. They're all naked. She's fucking weird. 100% she wrote that fucking intro. Uh, yeah. 100% she wrote that Nobody shit. Nobody else is doing that. You gotta hype yourself up. Velvet long silky dress. Her fucking gothic lips and fucking eyelashes and shit. And ugh. Oh, bro. This is waiting for January. Oh, this is a music video. She's like, we have to Wednesday watch part Adams. of this. We have to watch part of this. We're gonna get fucking. She's gonna fucking sue us. If this like ends up being epic, I'm gonna like her. It's okay. 
Speed it up. Like, where's the beat drop? Here we go. Here we go. Nah, she's shit. She's shit. Sweeney Todd meets nah, the Grinch. Fucking, that's the whole fucking... wild world in me is for survival. As I pour gravy on my mashed potatoes, I'm ready for Christmas. Everybody knows Christmas means gravy on your fucking potatoes. Gravy on everything, baby. Jesus. It's like she made a whole entire meal just for a video. Yeah, 100%. And she's just destroyed that Christmas tree. How fucking dare you? So, uh, actually, Wait, the why song, are we talking about this girl? The again? song was called "Waiting for January," which means she hates Christmas. It's what not even Christmas. Yes, it is. <laughs> it's in my world. So, <laughs> I even have my Christmas. So she's fucking some ghost, right? Yeah, the 30, 38 year old, the thirty eight year old single. Bro Cardi, who lives in Oxfordshire, claims that she has been in a relationship with a specter called Eduardo. You don't... His name is not fucking Eduardo. <laughs> now, name. though, he's taken... He's taken the hump after she went public about their affair and isn't talking to her. <laughs> She's like, I'm fucking a ghost. She's like, no, you're not. Bitch. <laughs> I'm leaving. Not anymore. So, I truly feel like I'm being ghosted by a ghost, she explained. Eduardo seems furious with me since I've gone public with our romance. We, he's gone completely cold. Well, he's can dead, Can we please, so. for the love of God, like, can we all just fucking ghost so we can get popular? Yeah. 100%. Can we start a rumor? We could totally say that we fucking I'm fucking a ghost. I'm fucking Whitney Houston's ghost. I'm about as white as a ghost. Does that count? No. No. No? Okay. So, you're technically fucking a ghost. Yeah. But not really. I mean, like. Every once in a while. Yeah. Every, every I have sexual relations, a.k.a. coitus, with a pasty girl with no ass. Hey. I'm Usually his presence back. surrounds me with a warmth, but now a cold breeze follows me around the house. Well, I mean, it did. Well, if you had a... If you it's didn't, fucking uh, November, bitch. It got colder outside. If you didn't have fans blowing all around your house to circulate the fucking demonic airflow, you wouldn't have to have... <laughs> I know what happened. Demonic. You turn your fans on, and you blew them out the fucking window. Everybody knows you can't have an open window. The ghost leaves. Mm -hmm. Fucking dummy. Everybody knows that. Our English house is really drafty because they're fucking old as shit. Yeah. Yeah. That's what you get. I'd leave your ass too, dude. Your music sucks. <laughs> He's costing me a fortune in heating, even with a fire roaring and the Shut the fuck up! <laughs> and the thermostat on full blast. It's like the Antarctic. Isn't, aren't you supposed to get a cold chill if you have a fucking ghost? Yeah, that's what she means. He's always around. And that's why she has to turn the heat up because she's always cold. No, he won't talk to her. It's the thing. He's gone. He's oh. her well, the if he's fucking shit. gone, then you're cool now. I've had to resort to sleeping in a ski suit and a bobby hat, which is a toboggan. And when he touches me, it feels like shards of ice piercing my soul. Ice piercing my clit. <laughs> There's an unsettling vibe everywhere. It feels like death or maybe I'm just dead to him. I wish you would fucking die. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, Ryan. <laughs> Let's calm down. Fuck her. And her fucking shitty bangs. Don't fuck her. <laughs> so I went on this morning to That's share a lot of my experience of Eduardo. I don't think he approved as the words I'm gone appeared in the steam on the shower door that evening. No, you were just writing your lyrics in the shower door, you fucking weirdo. Uh -huh. I'm gone. But I wrote this message for you to let you know that I'm gone. So, uh, worryingly, the ghoul has also apparently become physically violent with her. Yeah. She continued, I can sense his anger. I felt myself being pushed across the room, and he's pushed me to the floor on one occasion. You were drunk and fell. Shut <laughs> up. <laughs> I've tried, it's probably the gravy you poured all over the fucking table. Your your music your music. Fucking brain aneurysm. I've tried to communicate with him via candlelight, but he no longer flickers the flame. It just blows out. It's the fans. It's all the fans, you stupid idiot. Jesus Christ. If you put a fan in front of your air vent, what the fuck do you think's gonna happen? Ooh, it's a fan. It's a ghost. It's a fucking ghost. He loves Bath and Body Works. <laughs> Connected with the ghost. Okay, let's watch her video. So now with Halloween approaching, she's been, uh, she's keen to rekindle their passion. What? Why? You want to watch this? Yeah. So he's from like fucking early, early times, right? Supposedly. It said Civil War. 
No, it said Victorian. Victorian. <clears throat> That's all it's true. Thing. What can happen if you open your mind up? to that world um, and stop becoming sceptical. You have to reset a little bit and readdress what you She's see love and romance as. Crazy. Um, Look at her eyes. Ghosts can pick you Watch her eyes go back and forth. Um, Look at her. And take you to your favorite restaurant or have a helicopter and fly you to Paris. Did you see that weird eye twitching thing? It yeah. really is more of a feeling or more of a presence. Um, and I love that. Like, I love the spontaneity. What is she wearing? Did <laughs> you see that one? Yeah. Yeah. Just like an eye. Rock my world. Like, <laughs> like, <laughs> they <laughs> blink. <laughs> they like, they <laughs> both blink. And then this <laughs> one blinks. They <laughs> blink at different times. Yeah. Um, it's like a fish eye. I appreciate eye. that that's not for everyone. But it kind of feels... Fun at the moment, although it can be really scary sometimes. Um, when the presence a is really, really strong. It's the same. What the fuck are you wearing? That it's like does worry me a little bit shit. because you just don't know. A bib? What? I don't think it's a bib. I think it's part of the outfit. They have oh, the capacity like a bib. to do. I mean, yeah, it looks um, like a bib. You don't, goes down you don't know back. what you don't know what they have the capacity to do. He touched me one time. <laughs> Victorian ghost fuck, bro. He stuck a banana peel underneath my foot. <laughs> So Brocardi added Halloween is like Valentine's Day for spirits, so I'm going to write a song and perform it to Eduardo on the evening of Halloween. God, I hope he fucking kills you. <laughs> so I'm going to light a hundred candles and scatter rose petals. I may even cook Don't him waste some the typical candles. Victorian dishes to win back his heart. He's Maybe a ghost. He doesn't give a fuck. Maybe some sheep's trotters. I'm guessing that's sheep's hooves. Or a boiled calf's head, if I can find that in my local supermarket. I Ew. doubt it. No, you probably, probably can't. If not, I'll have to stick to something more simple like a stew or a soup, although I fear it will pass straight through him because he's a ghost! What the fuck? <laughs> you <laughs> fucking dumbass! <laughs> he's a ghost! <laughs> ha! Wish! <laughs> a fucking soup will go straight through him. What the fuck? Everything's gonna go through. But you gotta do it through fucking through. Everybody, Eduardo, here's a fucking cow's head. He's allergic to broth. <laughs> this is gonna fucking throw a cow's head across You're the You're just gonna have ghost shit everywhere. Catch you, spooky bitch. <laughs> I, I baked you a cow's head. <laughs> Good soup. <laughs> Good soup. The soup will go through him. Fucking everything's gonna go through him. Either way, I'll sure to get a couple drinks in. He seems to be, he seems like the kind of ghost who would enjoy a glass of port. Well, if you were in a relationship with him, you'd know if he was into alcohol. Yeah. You're Obviously, she understands that uh, that many won't understand what she's talking about. No. On, shit. On ITV, she told host uh, Dermot O'Leary and Allison Hammond, I was sort of taking myself back to, t- to a time before this happened as if someone said I'm in love with a ghost. I've been visiting, uh, I've been visited by the spirit. I can understand if people are skeptical. Um, still, she has no regrets about her decision to enter the relationship or the end of it. Now, obviously, you're having some uh, bullshit because you're you're putting, feeling some type of way about getting ghosted. In way too much effort to try to win some Victorian ghost <clears throat> back. What is wrong with you? So Brocardi said, "I don't think my man should control your emotions, or de- or any man should control your emotions or decisions." Even a ghost. I was trying to make sense out of this series of paranormal events and talking about it has helped me, but I wanted to have some sort of conclusion, so I hope he has more to say. Initially, I thought he could be trapped between two worlds and wanting to get a message to the world, but after his reaction, maybe he thrives off uh, uh, secrecy and privacy and wants wants me all to himself. I don't think so this is he your- saw your music video and said this Thank chick you, is Gail. fucking stupid this is your people cheyenne my people yeah these are your people this is like the witch idiots talk. No, no this is like the idiots witch talk. <laughs> this is the witch talk shit no nah, that's bro. not a witch this nah, is just weird that is not a witch that's fucking creepy huh that is not a witch no, that's that's literally. I don't know. Weird. If I had a ghost in my house, I wouldn't be like, "Oh, I'm gonna fuck it." <laughs> hey Sam, want some soup? Oh, sorry, well, I gotta go sorry, right through. It'll you. go right through you. I'm trying to get laid tonight. Let me boil a fucking cow's head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that makes a lot of fucking sense. Why? Why do 
like ghosts always have to be old? Why can't they be from like the nineties or something, or like the eighties when laws didn't exist? Because I feel like when laws didn't exist. Because I feel like if you're saying your your fucking Prince or Michael Jackson's, nobody's gonna believe you. But if you're like, I'm having sex with an eighteenth century house man or whatever the fuck, his name's Eduardo. Yeah, Eduardo. Eduardo. And, okay, excuse me. Do you know anybody who is in the Civil War named Eduardo? Victorian? No. Where no. the fuck? No. Eduardo. That sounds like some made up bullshit. It does. Yeah. 100%. Come up with a better fucking name. He flickers. Timothy. <clears throat> he, he flickers my candle light like I want him to flick my beam. I'm going to light a hundred candles. And I can tell him. by the way the wind blows on my back that he speaks Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> it's so cold in here. I have to turn up the thermostat and, the and wear a, a ski suit and shit. What? Uh, Jesus Christ. The first time we met, Close the he, wrote in, he wrote in my shower door, Hola. <laughs> oh. Como estas? Como estas? <laughs> why, crazy. why do we cover so many people that have fucking, that are having sex with ghosts? God, how, many fucking, how many horny ghosts have we fucking? It's trending, bro. Um, like three or four. Yeah, it's <laughs> trending, bro. I don't it's know. a trending item in fucking Ooh. COVID times. Why can't people just fuck people? <laughs> this is what happened. COVID kept everybody in their houses. Everybody knows Cabin ghosts, fever. ghosts live in houses. Oh. Yeah. AKA ghosts everywhere. And then fucking the people who are trying to fuck animals and shit. That's disgusting. Why I'd is, rather you fuck a ghost. I mean, why is it? It's always, it's all like it's women too. Like all of them have been women besides the fucking dude, um, the Russian bodybuilder. The dude. chicken fucker. The chicken fucker. <laughs> By far, maybe the most creepy. Yeah. I feel like he. Creepiest. I feel like he beats Bar- Brocardi out for yeah. her money. Yeah. But but Brocardi <laughs> close second. You know what he needs. Close though? second, and then and then the whisper daddy chick. She was definitely right there. Like <clears throat> you're like I'm pregnant because the wind caught some semen. Yes. You ever heard of cum wind? <laughs> it exists. The Russian bodybuilder needs a fucking music video, though. Jesus. <laughs> the whisper daddy flicked his cloaca and semen flew through the wind. Threw, flew through the air with lightning speed. <laughs> lightning speed. Like Tinder. And then blew right into my vagina hole. Like Tinder and all these fucking dating apps exist. You don't have to make up some fucking Victorian ghost. It's crazy. Or just go to the bar and get drunk. Something. Like you're like you're goth or emo or whatever she was, like Sin. There's a huge scene out there. And you're a singer songwriter, people would be into it. You can yeah. give it some loser. Yeah, totally. To fuck you. You don't have to make up some goddamn ghost named fucking Eduardo. <laughs> Eduardo. <laughs> Eduardo. How do you Eduardo. say it like that? Eduardo. Eduardo? Yeah, it's Eduardo. 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 How do you say it? Eduardo. Eduardo, Eduardo, yeah, Eduardo. I say Eduardo. <laughs> Eduardo. <laughs> Why? You, there's like four D's in there. Eduardo, Eduardo, Eduardo. I hear a G. Edge, like Eduardo. Eduardo. <laughs> Dear. What's so wrong with it? <laughs> oh, it feels good to be on this side. Eduardo. <laughs> Eduardo. Ed- Eduardo. <laughs> Ed- Eduardo. There's like four D's in there. <laughs> How do you say it? Eduardo. 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 <laughs> The same, there's like three or four it's D's the in there. Same shit. No, it's not. <laughs> it is. No, no, there's like four D's in there. Eduardo. 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 It's just Eduardo. The same shit. There's a J in it's it. It's like two words. You go Eduardo. <laughs> there's, it's, there's a J in there. It's We're fine. saying Pam or Pan. <laughs> Pam. All right. Pan. Let's close this shit out. <laughs> Eduardo. Eduardo. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you so much for downloading. We love the absolute fuck out of you. We could not do this show without you. We love you so much. And we also have a Comcast news update. We will be taking a week off next week. So this will be the last episode for two weeks, but you will have another episode the following week after that on your on our regular regular scheduled like podcast. Um, so basically we're just taking a week off. Whatever we're, we're on a, we're taking a weekend a brewery tour. We're taking a weekend off. We're yeah. going, so we're you taking won't get a, one until the 22nd. Yeah. You won't have an episode till the 22nd, unfortunately, but it's just, we, we're taking a week off. We're going, we're taking a, a weekend trip to Michigan. Going to have a good time up there. So, um, so yeah, make this podcast count, split it in half or do, do what you need to, or just, you know, take a week off for yourself, you know? You can do that too. That's what we're doing. The Eduardo. Self-care. 
All right, everybody. Um, love you guys. We will see you all in two weeks. Stay safe. Stay happy. Stay healthy. Read a good book. Drink a good beer. And the next time you light that candle and that shit's flickering like a motherfucker, that is your pussy ghost talking to you. 100%. And his name's Eduardo. And he can't eat soup. <laughs> and he can't eat soup. Yeah, because he, 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 he can eat everything else. <laughs> <laughs> he will shit his ghost bridges. It will go through him. He can eat Pint. literally everything else but soup. <laughs> his pantaloons will be ruined. Eduardo <laughs> is allergic to soup. <laughs> he can't eat soup because he got stabbed by that bayonet one time and he'll go through his bayonet hole. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, when the candle flickers in the night, you know Eduardo's calling. <laughs> yeah. Eduardo is near. <laughs> All right, everybody. See you in a couple weeks. Love the fuck out of you guys. And remember, life gets hard and life gets you down. You don't listen to Bro Cardi's music because she sucks. Oh, yeah. Fucking ass. We've already established that. Peace, guys. <laughs> Love the fuck out of you guys. Look that pig. Bye.